This is episode number 429 of the Health and Fitness Podcast by NFI, brought to you by Smith Street Paleo. Welcome back to another edition of Fitness in Under 3 Minutes, where we take a subject, dissect it in under 3 minutes, and hopefully give you some ideas of how to go back and tackle it. This week, mate, we're talking all about failure. Yes, we're talking about a a sentence or a word I heard the other day is called intelligent failure. Awesome. And, es- and essentially, intentional practice of... I'm going to read up for something I found <laughs> to explain it the best way. Intelligent failure is the intentional practice of reacting to failures more productively. Since we're not taught how to fail, our instinctive reactions to failure are usually defensive, dysfunctional, and generally don't serve us very well. Love it. <laughs> so it's we need to learn through failure. Yep. So we don't know how to fail... And you only learn by actually failing, L- failing and failing yep. and failing again. I'll I'll actually do this a lot with 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 people. I've, I've believed in this since since the early days of, of running this company and, and since training as well. I actually put workouts for people that I know that they can't do because there's going to come a time whether it's in a workout where you're going to think I failed at this workout. So like you say, you actually need to train failure to a certain extent because otherwise you're going to get there and it's going to be a completely new sensation. And you're not going to ha- know how to react to it. If it happens, if you if you if your pacing goes off in a in a 21k, you're gonna you're gonna melt down. Whereas if I've trained you for that, I, don't, I never tell people I'm going to do it. I just put it in their in their program, or we put it in a class. Sometimes I'll speak to Matt, and I'm like, put a program in the class that put a workout in the class yeah. that no one can finish. Yeah. Or that one person will finish, so everyone fails that Thursday therapy. And we've actually done that quite a lot, and the results through training people are massive yeah it's crazy another big thing my coach has me do is you know we talk about real failure versus per- perceived failures yeah. often I can look at a, f- a session as a failure a workout as a failure and really it actually wasn't a real failure something right. out of my control knocked me out or mm-hmm. you know like work could have been crazy stress would have been super high or something like that could have affected you or your food didn't get delivered and you didn't have your, your nutrients they used to or whatever it might be it's it's perceived failure and it's really important to become aware of when it's not a failure and yeah. when it is and I think that's the biggest thing mate if you look at failure as a learning of course we don't want to set up we set up to perform optimally but sometimes things don't go to plan we just have to know how to deal with it we might not get the lift we want we might not hit the time that we want but as long as we go back and we reflect and we understand why we fail and then we don't make that same mistake again like my coach is douchebag and wrote the program too hard for me yeah. then we absolutely are in good place that's been fitness in under three minutes a little touch on failure maybe we should do a whole show on it thanks for listening